Hello and welcome to our collective worship today. It's lovely to be able to be with you on screen once again, coming from church, and to be able to think about how we think about hope. One of those lovely words, isn't it, that we have, hope, so important to us. So we're going to be thinking a bit about our hopes, dreams and plans for the future. I suppose this is particularly appropriate at this time as you're perhaps thinking about moving up into the next class in school. Perhaps you've met your new teacher or you've got that to look forward to. Or for those of you in year six who of course will be moving on to secondary school in just a few months time and all of that that it will bring. And then there'll be some little ones, won't there, about who'll be looking forward to joining you at school. But when we're younger, we often, we're often asked, aren't we, what do you want to be when you grow up? I have to confess that I never once would have said, I want to be a vicar when I was at primary school, because that wasn't really what I wanted to do. But I was one of those people that always struggled to think, what am I going to do when I grow up? What am I going to do? I thought about various different jobs that I could do, but there was nothing really that made me think to myself, hmm, well, that's really what I want to do. Some of you might be sitting there thinking, I know exactly what I want to do when I'm older. And perhaps a little bit later on today, you can have a chat about that sort of thing, about your hopes and your dreams and plans for the future and the things you might need to do to be able to do that job in life. It would be very interesting, wouldn't it, for me to be able to meet up with you in 10 to 15 years time to see if you're actually would answer this, the question in the same way after all that time. Would you want to be the same thing that you wanted to be when you were aged between five and 11? But I'm going to tell you a story today, and it's a traditional folk story about three trees that had hopes, plans, and dreams for their future. So this is the story of the three trees. Once upon a time, there were three trees growing side by side in the forest. They were friends and they used to spend their time chatting together. Even though they were all more or less the same height and they were all growing at the same place, they were very different. The first tree loved beauty. The second tree loved adventure. The third tree loved God. One day the trees were talking about what they wanted to be when they grew up. When I grow up, I want to be a carved treasure chest filled with sparkling jewels, said the first tree. When I grow up, I want to be a strong ship and my captain will be a great explorer who will discover new lands, said the second tree. I don't want to be made into anything. I want to stay right here, growing taller every year until I am the tallest tree in the forest. Then when people look at me, they will look up and see I am pointing them to God, said the third tree. The years went by and one day three woodcutters arrived in the forest and cut the three trees down. Alas, my dream of becoming a treasure chest is about to come true, shouted the first tree. Brilliant, my dream of becoming a sailing boat is about to come true, yelled the second tree. Oh no! Now I won't be able to point people to God, whispered the third one. The woodcutters carried the three trees away, and for two of them, the future looked bright. However, before long, all three had to say goodbye to their earlier plans. Instead of being made into a beautiful treasure chest, the first tree was made into an ugly animal feeding box. Rather than being made into a fine sailing ship, the second tree was made into a simple fishing boat. The third tree wasn't made into anything at all, just cut up into planks and left stacked in a builder's yard. The years went by and gradually the three trees learned to live with their broken dreams. Then, one cold winter's night, everything changed for the first tree. A baby was born and it was clearly no ordinary child. Angels sang, shepherds and kings turned up to visit him. Guess which animal feeding box his mother used as a cradle. 
When the first tree realised what had happened, its heart filled with joy. My dreams have come true after all. I may not have been filled with gold and jewels, but I've held the greatest treasure on earth. About 30 more years passed before everything changed for the second tree. Then one day, when it was out in the middle of a lake, a terrible storm blew up and the little tree was sure that it was going to sink. Suddenly, something incredible happened. One of the men on board stood up and called to the wind and the waves, peace, be still, and they obeyed him. When the second tree realised what had happened, his heart filled with joy. My dreams have come true after all. I may not have carried a great explorer, but I've carried the maker of heaven and earth. Not long after that, things changed for the third tree too. A carpenter came and took it away, but to the tree's dismay, he did not make it into anything beautiful or even useful. Instead, he made it into a coarse wooden cross. Oh no, this is the sort of cross soldiers use to put criminals to death, thought the third tree. It should have been the worst day of the tree's life, except for one thing. The man hanging there in agony was no ordinary criminal paying for his crime. He was Jesus, the man Christians now believe to be the son of God, and he was dying. When the third tree realised what was happening, his heart thrilled with joy. My dreams have come true after all. I may not be the tallest tree in the forest, but from this day on, as the cross of Christ, I shall always point people towards God. In this story, each of those trees had a plan for its future, but it seemed that God had a different plan for them. Initially, God's plan did not seem as exciting as their original plans, but eventually, God used each one of them to play an important part in the life of Jesus, from his birth to his ministry to his death. We all have hopes and dreams for our futures, and that's a really good thing. Sometimes they may work out. Sometimes, like me, you may end up on a completely different path. But the thing is to trust God, that he guides us for the future, that he helps us realise that potential, all that we are in here, that we can live it out in our lives. And he shows us the plans for our future. Pleasure, God bless you. In care, anxiety or trouble, God sustain you. In peril and danger, God protect you. Amen. And so we say together the words that Jesus taught his friends. So when they asked him, how do we pray? And we use those words even today to remind us of how we are still part of that family, how we can be Jesus' friends too. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So today, have some time to think about your hopes, your dreams and your plans for the future. Share them with one another about what you would like to do. First of all, ask God to help us help you really be guided on the right path to fulfil that great potential that each and every one of you has. Thank you for joining me for worship today. <laughs>